is coming in. India is all set to become as first nation to touch down on the south pole of the moon. The much anticipated rendezvous will take place at 6 4 p.m. on Wednesday. Chandrayaan has embarked on its last leg of the journey to the moon. In the latest update, the ISRO announced two-way communication has been established between Chandrayaan uh, 2 and 3. The mission, which was launched on 14 July, has hopes clinging from the entire world and not just India, as everyone eagerly awaits for the historic touchdown with bated breath. So definitely, because the last time when uh, after uh, the landing uh, the process, we they, we have gone through the data what we generated in that on on flight. So based on that, corrective measures have been taken, and also that is uh, uh, not only that one. We did something more than what we corrected, and wherever that uh, margins are less, we we enhance that uh, margins. And at the same time, that uh, when the, that, uh, that the sensors are uh, not functioning, and the, wherever the possible the appropriate redundancy is uh, put it. So that way, this time the system is because based on the lessons we learned from Chandrayaan 2. My colleague Dharani is joining us. Uh, Dharani, in the latest update, the ISRO has announced a two-way communication that has been established uh, between Chandrayaan 2 and 3. The mission was launched on 14 July. There are hopes that are clinging from the entire world and not just India. Everyone is eagerly waiting for the historic touchdown. Now, ISRO has officially confirmed that a two-way communication has been established between a Chandrayaan 2's orbiter and Chandrayaan 3's lander module. Uh, so, remember, Chandrayaan 3 doesn't have an orbital uh, by itself. You know, uh, Chandrayaan 2's orbiter is still, you know, revolving the moon and it is still continuing to get, uh, you know, give inputs. Now, ISRO has established a successful communication line between a Chandrayaan 2's orbiter and Chandrayaan 3's lander module, that is Vikram, and uh, the soft planning is expected to take place around. Uh, 6, 4 p.m. on August 23, that is the day after tomorrow, and uh, this will be live-streamed in all of, you know, ISRO's official uh, social media handles uh, uh, from 5.20 p.m. Uh, day after tomorrow. Uh, the soft planning will precisely take place by 6, 4 p.m. in the evening. Uh, Chandrayaan 3 is expected to uh, land, uh, you know, uh, near the south pole of the lunar surface, and this will make India the first ever country to have landed a spacecraft uh, near the south pole of the lunar surface. So as soon as the soft landing is, you know, established, uh, uh, the, uh, the the Vikram lander will release uh, the Pragyan rover, you know, onto the moon surface, and uh, and then uh, the uh, the scientific experiments, both quantitative and qualitative, they'll be uh, you know uh, beginning to perf uh, beginning to be performed, and uh, uh, you know uh, the inputs that we're able to get from uh, Chandrayaan three, they will directly be injected into the formulation and execution of our uh, uh, next manned mission for right. moon, that is uh, Gaganyaan, Gaganyaan mission that is currently right. uh, taking shape. So definitely, uh, you know, all the uh, developments and all the updates that we are getting in uh, in regard to Chandrayaan 3 are very crucial at this phase. Absolutely, Dharani. Thank you for uh, tracking all the details as far as the Chandrayaan 3 mission is concerned. Uh, now, take a look at our next report on India's journey to the moon. Lessons learned from Chandrayaan 2 mission and a foolproof uh, plan to make a perfect touchdown this time. 4, 3, 2, 1. Five seconds. Lift off normal. Even right. India's space program is hoping to soar higher, riding on the wings of Chandrayaan 3. See, by Chandrayaan 3 success, definitely it will give one big thing for India a technology for soft landing on a celestial body. To reach another planet and have a soft landing can be the beginning of uh, uh, human space exploration at a later stage if you need. India's first lunar mission in 2008 put Chandrayaan 1 in orbit around the moon and found water molecules in lunar soil. 11 years later, Chandrayaan 2 was only partly successful as the lander crashed but the orbiter, ISRO said, yielded discovery class findings. 
Chandrayaan 2, unfortunately, the last part of the landing got into a problem. Otherwise, it would have been very great. That one is all being rectified in Chandrayaan 3. So it is a multiple set of changes which have been done on the Chandrayaan that payload alone. For Chandrayaan 3, ISRO scientists went back to the drawing board. They decided to go without an orbiter and cut costs by a third compared to Chandrayaan 2. The separate propulsion module is carrying a payload called SHAPE. While propulsion module will stay in orbit, SHAPE will look for signs of Earth-like habitable planets. By landing at the uh, near South Pole region where uh, not the explored region, unexplored region is landing and they carry out the science there. So the Shantan mission is expected to bring something new scientific findings. Yet the big takeaway will come from a successful soft landing on the moon. It will put India on top of the league of the select nations capable of landing an object on the moon. The soft landing of the Vikram will affirm ISRO's technical prowess, demonstrate the ability to conduct scientific experiments on the lunar surface and gain knowledge of the chemical composition on Earth's satellite. And the rover will go around, take very close pictures of the objects there, and more than that, uh, try to map the mineralogy using some of the sensors and uh, try to look for some seismic vibrations and uh, so on. So it's a very important uh, experiment, uh, scientific experiment, as well as a demonstration of our uh, technical capability. The achievement of Chandrayaan 3's objectives, besides bringing laurels to ISRO, could be the force multiplier for India's space industry. Bureau Report, Times Now. And with that, it's our wrap on this bulletin. We take a break.